All right, hey, what's up, guys? All right, just a quick and dirty build for you. Uh, solder fume extractor in about 10 minutes. Uh, that's quieter. It sucks way more fumes and has a filter that you could trust. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so basically what you're going to need is a fan, and uh, this is the main component. Uh, this is the one thing that's going to make this better than any other fume extractor out there. And this is my simple build, but I got this fan from the recommendation off another YouTuber. And if you want to go all out and uh, build a proper case, then definitely check out his video that I'll link down below. Uh, he even made it dual powered so it could run off batteries. Uh, anyway, so he introduced me to this fan and uh, thanks for that. This is awesome. So this is Noctua's uh, industrial version of their fans. And uh, while you trade off some silence, um, it more than makes up for it, uh, for how, how much more it sucks. So um, here are the numbers, and you could compare that to the extractors you see out there. And some other things you'll need are a couple fan grills. Uh, these were five bucks each, and we're gonna add an extra one on the back. This was about three bucks. Okay, and one component of the secret sauce are these uh, activated charcoal filters. Uh, and I wanted to get the big sheets, uh, but where I am in Japan, those are too expensive. So I was able to find these, and these are this is a five pack of the filters they use, uh, the Heiko uses on the FX400. And these are actually surprisingly really good quality. Um, they're really rigid foam, and yeah, I recommend these if you can get them. Okay, then you're just gonna need some screws. And okay, and what I got here is an adapter which converts the threads for um, camera mount to a microphone mount and I'll show you what this does later. But basically what we're gonna do is just hook it up to one corner of the fan here. And this will be like a support that will help stand it up, uh, but it will do something else. Uh, if you didn't wanna do that, you could just stick a really long screw in here and that will hold it up as well. And some other things you'll need are a power supply, uh, which I'm pretty sure maybe you guys got lying around. Um, if not, this fan doesn't pull that much current, so you could buy one for 12 bucks. Okay, and you also need a plug, which the 12 volt power supply plugs into, and you could get these for pretty cheap as well. And I'm also gonna use one of these cheap magic arms, which uh, I'm gonna connect to that adapter, and you could use that to position the fan however you like. So let's start the build, and yeah, this is gonna take less than 10 minutes. So uh, first I'm gonna hook that uh, adapter mount to one of the corners of the fan, the back side. I'm going to put a little Loctite because I don't want this moving. Okay, so then basically I sandwich the foam between the two metal screens and I screw it on. And using these Heiko filters, uh, they're pretty rigid, so it's just holding itself on there. But if you're using foam that kind of compresses easily, you might want to stick some uh, washers or nuts in between the two grills to uh, keep them separated so they don't compress on that foam of yours. Okay, so basically we screw all that together and we're done. Okay, and as you can see here, there's this little gap uh, between the grills and the fan, so I'm just gonna cover those up. I could use electric tape, but I hate the sticky residue that stuff leaves behind, so I'm just gonna use gaffing tape. And it's done, so that's it. So basically we just have to plug it in. And that looks pretty good. Uh, and you can see how far I could move out here. And for my purposes, I think that I think that will beat most fans. And I don't know if you could hear from the video, but this is really quiet. 41 decibels isn't silent, but uh, this is super quiet. And you can see how I'm using this with a magic arm. And this is one of the longer ones I bought. And this works surprisingly well. So one knob to loosen everything so I can move it around. I lock it in and I can put it in any position that I want. And it works great. And there you go. A pretty minimal design, but I think it works great. Uh, it looks great, actually. And um, it's really quiet. And yeah, sure, you could buy one with a case, but I think this is better. Uh, it's light, and with the magic arm, I can move it in and out of my workspace and put it in any position I want. So yeah, guys, go build it. Take care.